guys, it's Ken from Fantastic Cakes and a Taste of Home Cake Crate. Uh, today I am going to show you how I make my awesome, rich, decadent chocolate ganache. Uh, it's actually super easy uh, and this is something that I put in my uh, quarantine care crate right now. Uh, every If you order a quarantine care crate, you get cake pops and French macarons and some cookies. And I also put an eight ounce container of this uh, awesome chocolate ganache that is perfect for dipping fruit or pretzels or marshmallows or really anything you know you'd like to try so stick around see how I do it and I hope you enjoy thanks okay so first thing we're gonna start with I've got a uh, some semi-sweet chocolate chips I use the mini ones just because they melt a lot easier uh, and that glossiness that you see in there is some honey that I add just to for a little extra sweetness to it uh, and then we've got a pot here with uh, some cream, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, some heavy whipping cream. Uh, if you feel that you don't have enough and you don't want to run to the store, you can always add a little bit of milk or half and half or something just to uh, get the amount you need. Uh, and I start generally with about a cup of cream. However, depending on the consistency, excuse me, consistency that you want of your ganache, you can add, you know, you can put more or less cream in it. Uh, and we're just gonna bring this to a boil. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our cream cooking. Our, the goal is to have it come to a boil, but you really need to keep an eye on it because as soon as it really starts boiling, it's gonna rise up. And if you're not paying attention, it'll just completely overflow. Uh, so this has probably about another 20 to 30 seconds before it's ready and you'll see it start rising up. In fact, it's probably gonna be less than that. I'm gonna move this away just a little bit. I'm gonna put my chocolate chips here. And as you can see, it's starting to rise up. And we're just gonna dump it right onto the chocolate chips, just like that. You wanna make sure that the chocolate chips are just submerged um, for you know a typical creamy sort of ganache. If you're looking for something a little bit thinner, uh, if you're covering something with the ganache, you may, uh, like I said, have a little bit more uh, cream in there. So obviously it'll be covering a little bit higher. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit for about three to five minutes and then we're gonna mix it all up. Okay, so it's been about, about four minutes since we poured the cream on top of the uh, chocolate chips. So all we're gonna do now is start giving it a stir. Just wanna make sure you scrape all the way around. You can see right away it starts getting nice and dark. But you want to wait, keep stirring it until you noticeably, uh, it becomes noticeably creamy. Because you can see right there it's starting to get darker and the, all the cream is getting really well incorporated. So this is basically uh, basically perfect for uh, well, in this consistency, the way you see it right now, like fresh, freshly stirred and, and, and still really drippy, you know, you could dip virtually anything in this. Uh, uh, however, more often than not, I will let this sit after a while and uh, let it solidify just a bit. Uh, and once it gets to a little more of a solid point, it makes it perfect for uh, filling for cakes or cookies or um, I've used them in my French macarons before. Uh, if you want to do something like uh, dipping strawberries, you would want to do that now. Um, I have made a thinner consistency where I've added more cream uh, because I had made small cakes for Valentine's Day once, these little heart cakes, uh, and I was able to just you know cover them all just by pouring it on top of them and it covered it really nicely, but you need to make sure it's thin enough to do that. Uh, but yeah, so this is this is my chocolate ganache. This is what goes in my quarantine care crate, or uh, if you happen to get anything from me that has chocolate ganache in it, this is it. So, yeah.
So that's how I make my chocolate ganache. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe you'll give it a try even more so. I hope you check out mycakecrate.com. Uh, we have our monthly subscriptions that, that we'd love for you to order, but also uh, if you're looking for something really just to feed the whole family for, for a little while, uh, the quarantine care crate that, that I offer is perfect, uh, where you'll get an eight ounce container of this ganache, uh, along with a dozen cake pops, a dozen French macarons, half a dozen huge chocolate chip cookies, just like this, these huge ones, these almost like the size of my head, you get six of these bad boys. Um, and I had just baked those, that's why I had it there. Um, you also get a half a dozen uh, large raspberry Linzer cookies. Um, however, if you happen to have a real uh, eversion or allergy to raspberries for the Linzer cookies, uh, you, can, you can also do strawberry or a Nutella type of filling uh, in those cookies. You just let me know and, and, and I'll accommodate that. Um, but anyways, it's $75, includes shipping. I hope you'll check us out. Give that uh, the ganache recipe a try and make sure you subscribe. Thanks. See ya.